You're very welcome back to the show. Now we are in for something very romantic because we have our gardening expert, Peter Dowdall here. Peter, how are you? Good, Dahi, good. Happy Valentine's and Day. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, we have all the serious work done, of course. The planning's gone in for weeks. Oh, come on. But for anyone who's panicking now at this hour of the evening, going home, listen, they don't, you don't have to go buy flowers or anything. You can put something together yourself. Well, do you know what? A bunch of flowers is lovely. And I mean, everybody loves to get a bunch of flowers, I'm told. But... There's so much better value if you buy an actual living plant that's going to keep giving you flowers for years to come. It'll, it'll survive. Economically, it's way better. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what Valentine's is all about? <laughs> it certainly is. It is. And, and just the love that goes into growing these plants. Well, there you go. Yeah. Absolutely. There's so much work does go in. But you, 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 you plant a rose bush and you have roses forever. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully the love lasts forever. If you take care of them, though. Yes. Yeah, if you take care of them properly. You do have to mind them. You do have to take yeah. care of them. But like you look at something like these red roses. Now, they don't look great at the moment. And of course, that's the thing. If you arrive in with that, you might have a thrown at you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You may have a thorny issue. You may have a thorny issue, hands. yeah. And the other thing to yeah. bear in mind, I mean, uh, Valentine's is obviously synonymous with red roses. Mm -hmm. But the other thing to bear in mind, you have the yellow roses like this guy here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you... Be very careful, because if you give a bunch of yellow roses or a rose bush or you receive mm -hmm. it, there's a very special meaning to what does it, it mean? right? It might not be what you want for it's platonic love or friendship is yeah. what the yellow rose symbolizes, but it also symbolizes in many cultures it symbolizes jealousy or jealous love. Okay. So yellow rose be careful of. I red roses you're safe enough. Red rose you're safe. You're enough. looking a bit worried there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever get a yellow rose? No, I didn't. No. So if you were to plant, you can plant this this time of year, can you? Absolutely. Though? The red oh, roses absolutely. You can. Yes. No, they flower uh, in the summer. They, they will flower this. So if you plant them now, they will flower this summer. They'll flower this year. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, these look like roses, Peter. They look like Brussels sprouts on them as well. Yeah, they yeah, well, they're not Brussels sprouts, no. and they're not roses, <laughs> but they do. They look very like roses, and they're beautiful at this time of year. They're camellias. They're a lovely evergreen plant that are spring flowering. They're kind of aristocrats of the spring garden if you okay. like but that I mean coming home with that now is a gorgeous gift it's, it certainly is and when will this flower gift. Peter that flower is from kind of it sets its buds last year for next year if you like so mm -hmm. flowers let's say depending on the variety like this one will mm -hmm. flower from kind of it's beautiful early January mm -hmm. right through to April May so good long flowering period with okay it. so when, when the rows are out these are in Correct. In and then if, if you were to plant some of them for spring colour, the roses will give you summer colour. Perfect. Yeah. What, what have we here, Peter? What you have here is a selection mm. of kind of traditional plants, Dahi, for, mm. for the gardener in your, your life. Like if you, if you are giving a gift to somebody who has a garden or mm. who knows the garden, you have these gorgeous hellebores, which are stunning, mm -hmm. scabious, the old fashioned pinks and carnations. It's a lovely one called pink kisses. Yeah. Other hellebores are also called the Christmas rose and the Lenten rose. Mm. But they're lovely plants. I mean, you know, go to the garden and say to pick up something in flower. They're going yeah. to like it. Mm -hmm. And you have other, you know, you could give to somebody Maybe for somebody younger where See, the work I, is I all done. I think this is a really nice present. I think it's for Valentine's lovely too. Day. Really, really colourful. Do you know, you're staying away from the whole minefield of red rose and yellow roses yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, going yeah, something yeah. very, very safe. And the other thing is, if you're giving somebody something like that, you are also giving them a, a small job, but a job. They have to plant yeah. it, they have to find somewhere for it. Whereas if you're giving this or something like that, yeah. it's a purpose made gift. You know, they don't have to do anything. They can just yeah. land nuts. Or even this, if they've a hanging basket up during the summer and the bracket mm -hmm. is still up, yeah. well, why not give them a, a ready planted hanging basket? Ready to go. Ready to go. Is There's no, no good work. time to be bringing the flowers into the garden, Peter, if you ah, do yeah. get this for, for ah, Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, I mean, what we're looking at here in terms of frost and that, there's no issue, really. No. There's no issue no with problem. the frost and things like that. Obviously, it's too early for, for late spring and summer mm -hmm. colour, but for this, for the, for your primulas, daffodils, yeah. they're all... They're they're all actually, you can see the daffodils coming up at the moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're unbelievable. They're, 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 they're a hardy flower. Nature is unbelievable, isn't yeah. it? I mean, you look how cold it is. The, the ground is frozen and up they yeah, come. Up and they, they come. look so dainty yeah, and delicate. They do, like, yeah, they but no, no problem to mm -hmm. them. And yeah. then what have we over here, then? Then you're moving into, if you wanted to give gifts to somebody for, let's say, inside the home, and again, this is great if somebody doesn't have a garden, they might live in a small home, they mightn't be into the garden yet, they might just have an apartment. Mm -hmm. Again, something more traditional are the indoor hydrangeas. Now, do mm -hmm. be careful for anybody watching that these are indoor hydrangeas. Indoor. They're not for outside use. I'm not going to go too can you, far Can you get that. out ones? You can, of course. The majority are outside. But if you're mm -hmm. getting them at this time of the year in flower, they're yeah. probably They're a indoor. beautiful green, though, Peter. They really are. Really, right? really beautiful they really green. are. And then you've got the pink for the girls, blue mm -hmm. for the boys, and... White for whoever. For, white for everything <laughs> in the middle. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and then you've got the little other house plants there, type of primulas. The lovely, they're just a nice little house plant for yeah. colour. Gerberas and the Calanchois. They're all kind of what you'd call traditional, mm -hmm. tried and tested plants. Who's not going to yeah. love them? Okay, what about our friend over there now? If somebody oh, comes home with this. <laughs> I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to this guy first, which is the bamboo, which is all the intertwining. And I think yeah. that's a lovely little symbol. Mm -hmm. This, yeah. What do I say about that? I, uh, for the for the for the, the cactus in your life, yeah, yeah. I think if you're getting that as a gift, you might have to reevaluate your relationship. You, 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 you certainly do. But Peter, if, you, if you go over here to the other side, um, these are these are very beautiful as well. Well, again, for somebody who's living in an apartment mm -hmm. or they just want to house plant the orchid. Mm -hmm. I mean, the orchids are st
similar around them, mm. and they are so easy to grow. You might look at them and people look at them and go, are they difficult? They're yes. so not difficult. They're the easiest plant in the world to grow. Bit of water once a week. When the flower dies, just one little tip, when mm. the flower does die after four mm -hmm. or five months, I don't know if you'll see it there on camera where my finger yeah. is, but that's what's called a node. It's a swelling on the, on the stem. Mm -hmm. Just cut it to there. Cut it to and there. And within a month or two, you'll get another flower. Does it have to be at any angle or anything? No, either? forget about no. the angle, just no. at the node okay. is what's important. Angles are good for flower for you know what? or is, it, is this just a myth, is it? A lot of people, I think, okay. try and make gardening sound harder than it is. I've been to the biggest <laughs> rose supplier in the world where there's acres mm -hmm. and acres in Holland. Mm -hmm. Acres upon acres of roses. How do you think they prune them? I don't know. By a machine. lawnmower suspended ah, above Ah, stop. Them. I swear to God, a That's lawnmower suspended above them. So just cut to a node. Okay. Don't worry about your angle. So you, even with the rose, you, you cut to the node as well? Yeah, always to the node. Always yeah, to the always node. To the okay, node. So, so if you cut in between... It just, that's where pest and disease is going to come in. It's a bit like us if we get a cut in the wrong place okay. until the callus is over. Perfect. If you look just over there, Dahi, mm -hmm. you've got some lovely house plants as well, the whites. Yeah. And if you pick up any one of them, because what they have, yeah. uh, and you tend to forget about, throw your nose into that there. It's lovely oh scent. my god, yeah. And it's, it's like a natural air fresher. You put that into the house and you're mm -hmm. going to fill the room with scent. That's Gardena. Yeah. You have a few others over there it's as well. It's very green, isn't it? Stunning. Very, very green. Stunning looking plants. Yes, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely smell as well. And we have a few um, golden oldies back here. Do we have Well, they are golden oldies. I'm going to take one down mm -hmm. there. It's the spider plant, Dahi. And yeah, the reason <laughs> I bring it is because everybody's grandmother in yeah. the world had spider mm -hmm. plants in the porch or in the kitchen. And everybody knows the spider yeah. plant. But you know what? From a marketing point of view, they're going through a revival at the moment. They're becoming very urban chic, if yeah. you like. You'll see a lot of restaurants now where they're in the, on the shelves and hanging off the, the tables and displays. I just think something like that in the kitchen yeah. or in the apartment, I think it'll look know, lovely. If, if you, because sometimes we should get kind of gifts for our parents as well. Absolutely. And grandparents for Absolutely. Valentine's Day. So something like this would be yeah. ideal. I had to go out last evening with my little six-year-old and, and get something for mummy. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, had yeah. To buy, yeah, I had to buy yeah. a few uh, Valentine cards uh, this year. For the same person. Of course, for, I should for, so. No, for the same person. For the same <laughs> person. Yeah. No, certainly not. I we, didn't get her a spider plant, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we had a few questions, and this is uh, Jackie from Bandon. And uh, Jackie says, last year I made this beautiful shed. I think we can see the shed. There we have it. It's really, really nice. Um, I call it my purple palace, and I just love it. And uh, my biggest fear is that over the winter, mice start to come in. They are one thing that terrifies me. I've set traps and so on and so forth. And uh, Jackie wants to keep mice out of the garden and out of this uh, out of her purple palace as she's calling it because she has lovely plants inside there and bird seeds she's at her wits end Jackie says well the first of all when I saw the photograph I said what can the question be because the garden looks lovely yeah. Jackie fair play to you and the shed looks lovely it really really does um Mice can be a problem. She's, she's kind of answered it there mm -hmm. to a degree in the question. She said she's got birdseed in there. Birdseed is, is, is desperate for drawing yeah, rodents, unfortunately. Yeah. So I would probably, if you are feeding the birds, be very, very careful, number one, where you're feeding them. Obviously, they need to be fed, but be very careful where mm -hmm. you're doing and where you're storing the food. Maybe store the food in a sealed container somewhere okay. else. So the right? smell doesn't get out. Correct. Okay, any, so any looseness they'll get there. Now, the good sign is if you have mice, you don't have the other ones, yeah, the worst yeah, ones, yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. rats. Mm -hmm. um, Cleanliness, hygiene around the shed is very, very important. It's general. There's no magic wand. You're traps, but keep all around the shed as free of debris and rubbish oh. as you can. One quick question, one of yes. my own, Peter. My garden is kind of getting fluffy at the moment. Should I cut it? Your lawn? Yeah. Yeah, provided it's not actually frozen. Yeah, yeah. So okay. on some yeah. mornings, no, leave it alone. Okay. Provided it's not frozen mm -hmm. and it's not waterlogged. If it's frozen, you'll do a bit of damage. If it's waterlogged, you'll just leave footprints yeah. and that in it. So, okay. But time of year, yes. So it is the time of year to cut the lawn? Go. As the temperatures start to go up now, yes. Okay, Peter, thank yeah. you very much for thank all you, of that. Now, for more information and more tricks and tips, head over to our Facebook page.